Please all stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. In Vivatory Antiphon, come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Alleluia. Psalm 95. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock his shepherds. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Alleluia. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Alleluia. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Alleluia. Be seated for the psalmody. Antiphone 1. All together. Glorious is the Lord on high. Alleluia. The Lord is king with, mast with majesty and robe. The Lord has robed himself with might. He has girded himself with power. The world you made firm not to be moved. 
Your throne has stood firm from of old. From all eternity, O Lord, you are. The waters have lifted up, O Lord. The waters have lifted up their voice. The waters have lifted up their thunder. Greater than the roar of mighty waters, more glorious than the surgings of the sea, the Lord is glorious on high. Truly, your decrees are to be trusted. Holiness is fitting to your house, O Lord, until the end of time. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Some prayer. All-powerful and all authority in heaven and on earth have been given to you, Lord Jesus. You rule with decrees that are firm and trustworthy. Be with us always so that we may make disciples whose holiness will be worthy of your house. Antiphon 1, all together. Glorious is the Lord on high. Alleluia. Antiphon 2, all together. To you, Lord, be highest glory and praise forever. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters of the, above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praise worthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Antiphon 2, all together. Praise to you, Lord, be highest glory and praise forever. Alleluia. Antiphon 3. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Alleluia.
Psalm Prayer Lord, extolled in the heights by angelic powers, you are also praised by all earth creatures, each in its own way. With all the splendor of heavenly worship, you still delight in such tokens of love as earth can offer. May heaven and earth together acclaim you as king. May the praise that is sung in heaven resound in the heart of every creature on earth. Antiphon 3, all together. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Alleluia. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall now know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you raised, rise from them. O my people, I will put my spirit in you that you may live and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised and I will do it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsory. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Please all rise for the cantica of Zechariah. The disciples. Antiphon. The disciples went out and preached repentance. They anointed many sick people with oil and healed them.
antiphon all together. The disciples went out and preached repentance. They anointed many sick people with oil and healed them. Intercession. Father, you sent the Holy Spirit to enlighten the hearts of men. Hear us we, as we pray. Enlighten your people, Lord. Enlighten your people, Lord. Blessed are you, O God, our light. You have given us a new day. Resplendent with your glory, we pray. Enlighten your people, Lord. You enlighten the world through the resurrection of your Son. Through your church, shed this light on all men and women, we pray. Enlighten your people, Lord. You gave the disciples of your only begotten Son the Spirit's gift of understanding. Through the same Spirit, keep the church faithful to you, we pray. Enlighten your people, Lord. Light of nations, remember those who remain in darkness. Open their eyes and let them recognize you, the only true God, we pray. Enlighten your people, Lord. Let us pray for our personal intentions. We pray. Enlighten your people, Lord. All together, we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Concluding prayer. God, our Father, your light of truth guides us to the way of Christ. May all who follow him reject what is contrary to the gospel. We ask this, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be done to me Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And the blood called us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Please all rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the gentle and fruitful power of God's Word be with you. And with your spirit. Gathered together as God's family in, re in response to His invitation, let us realize our need to be forgiven and strengthened by His grace. For the times we have neglected to nourish ourselves, at the table of God's word, or have treated it as a simple human word, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the times we have prevented the power of God's word to bear fruit in our lives because of our wrong priorities and the lack of perseverance in doing good, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For the times we have neglected to share God's word with our neighbor and have failed to proclaim it with lives of authentic Christian commitment, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject what is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all the dust honor. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there, till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. See that falls on good. 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God for creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from the slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down. And the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parable, saying, a sower went out to sow. As he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears owed to hear. The disciples approached him and said, Why do you speak to them in parables? He said to them in reply, Because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been granted to you, but to them it has not been granted. To anyone who has, more will be given, and he will grow rich. From anyone who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because they, took, they look but do not see, and hear but do not listen or understand. Isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled in them, which says, you shall indeed hear, but not understand. You shall indeed look, but never see. Gross is the heart of these people. They will hardly hear with their ears. They have closed, closed their eyes. Lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and be converted, and I heal them. But blessed are your eyes, because they see and your ears because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Hear then the parable of the sower. The seed sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it, and the evil one comes and steals away. 
what was so sown in his heart. The seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy. But he, but he has no root and lasts only for a time. When some tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, he immediately falls away. The seed sown among thorns, the one who hears the word, but then worldly anxiety and the lure of riches choke the world, and it bears no fruit. But the seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of the requirements in working in uh, Korea then was uh, for me as a, uh, a worker for the Filipino overseas workers was to learn, first of all, Korean language. And I had to enroll in a class, a Korean class, but uh, only to realize that the lecture was, the medium of instruction was in Korean. <laughs> Just imagine, no? mag-aaral ako ng Koreano, ng Korean language, and nyalama ang salita ay Korean. Of course, there is this textbook with translations, but it's different when, you know, uh, yung bang in-explain pa rin ng ating professor. I realized then, my God, parang hindi ako matututo rito. So what did I do? I read uh, yung mga Korean, uh, ang mga tawag yan, yung language, and, and then, I asked Filipinos to speak to me in Korean. To speak to me in Korean. So I would be able to understand at least a little bit of the Korean language. Yes, indeed, it helped. It helped so much na matawag po salita, Tagalogin, i-Englishin. So, madali pa for me to understand that until ah, marunong na ako magsulat ng Korean characters, nakakapagbasa na ako. And then I had this constant uh, communication with uh, with the Koreans and uh, in my office I have this I have this Korean interpreter who could speak English so every time I go to the employers para po sa mga claims o employ yung mga Pilipino ay kasama ko siya lagi kausap ko mga employers ng mga Koreano naiintindihan na ako naman kahit na nahirapan pero naiintindihan ko yung kanilang pinag-uusapan What's the whole thing? It's more of giving oneself to it. It's more of acting it out rather than simply reading it. The Gospel today, you would see, is one of the parables that the Lord Jesus explained. Not all the parables are explained by Him, by Jesus Himself. This is one of them. That is three parables that the Lord explained. And this is one. The parable of the sower. That is why I would not go over yung tungkol sa uh, uh, gospel, but because it explained ni Jesus, eh, very clear na sa atin, di po ba? At the end of the gospel, sinabi niya, ito yung explanation niya doon. But rather, I would like to focus more on what ito pong linya. Whoever has ears ought to hear. Because even the Lord Himself, before answering directly, the query of the disciples tungkol sa parable na ito, in-explain niya muna yung importance of hearing. Maraming tao na papaki, nakakapakinig, nakakakita, and yet they don't understand. Diba? Ito muna. That is why, sabi ko, Aba, I think the focus of the gospel is not so much about those different uh, dispositions or different kinds of soil, soil I mean, but rather on our own. Are we good listeners? And what does, it, what does it mean to be a good listener? Alam nyo, nung tayo po ay napapagsabihan ng magulang, di ba? Pag tayo may ginawa, sabi nila, eh, kayo ko kasi ay mong makinig. Ano po ang ibig sabihin ng magulang natin? Makinig lang? No. Ang ibig sabihin nila, ayaw mong gawin. Ayaw mong sundin. Yun, di ba? Tama. When our, our parents would tell us, 
Ayaw mo kasi gawin yan. Ayaw mo kapakinggan yan. Sinasabi ko eh. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo sinusunod ang kanyang sinasabi. Yan po ang point ng gospel. Because even the title itself, it says, the parable of the sower. Ito po ang three days. Ako po ay nagbabasa ng mga commentaries, nakikinig ng mga sermons, ng mga foreigners, ng mga preachers. Most of them will focus on what? On the soil. I didn't find any preacher who focuses on what? On the sower, God. And why was it that uh, a lot of the soil, soils here naging ano? Failure. Why? Bakit nga ba? Hindi nakinig na tunay. Hindi ginawa. Yun pong ibig sabihin nito. And so that, what is the best way? is this to listen to the Lord. To listen and sa pamamarang ano, pananangin, pagdarasal. Yun po ang nourishment para maging fertile, magbunga ang ating mga puso. Kung wala tayo nung pakipagpugnayan sa Kanya, ibig sabihin, hindi mo siya pinapakinggan at hindi mo sinusunod ang Kanyang mga payo, ha? Ah, hindi ka magbubunga ang ating buhay. Kaya sabi ng second reading, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed to for us. Kung isipin po, napaka bala, kukonti pa yung mga paghihirap natin ngayon. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility. Partner na yan. Kahinaan ng tao yan. Not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it. You know, si Adan, nagkasala ang tao. Maganda ang plano ng Diyos, pero ino, sinayang ng tao. It, in hope, in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share it in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. Alam na yan, eh, given yan, there will always be sufferings. And not only that, we ourselves who have first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we await for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. So we need to say, the body other day, the other Sunday, hindi mawawala ang suffering, ang pains, ang, pag- ang tribulation sa lupa. Given po yan. Given na given po yan. Pero tandaan natin, if we are victorious, kapag nagwagi tayo sa kasamaan, sa panunukso, to the lure of this world, the end of our anxieties, etc., etc., glory awaits for us. Naghihintay ang kaluwalhatian. Sobra-sobra pa. Yun po yung fruits. 30, 60, 100 fold. Yung pong binabangkit sa gospel ngayon. So meaning to say, if we are able to nourish the seed that is implanted in us, the love, the mystery of the kingdom, aba, ito ang magiging bunga niya. Siksikliglig umaapaw, sabi nga po, di ba? Siksikliglig umaapaw. Magbubunga. Kaya the best would be, first of all, palalimin natin ang ating ugnayan sa ating Panginoon. Huwag nating sayangin ang mga pagkakataon. Alibawa sa misa po, alam ko, inaanto kayo. No, hindi lahat ng homilis ng mga pari ay maganda o kaya kaakit-akit, di ba? May mga marami, mga boring. But mind you, kahit po boring, Meron pa rin po kayong mapupulot. If only 
you are what? Attentive, receptive. Kaya yung different kinds of soul, soil, I mean, means how receptive are you? Sa word of God. Gaano ba yung natanggap ang salita ng Diyos sa inyong buhay? Pinapalalim nyo ba ito? Inaalagaan nyo ba ito? O katulad ka lamang ng mga naulog sa mga daanan. Saglit lang ako po, hangin lang, mawawala na. Tinuka na ng mga ibon. O kaya nahulog doon saan? Rocky ground. Na kung saan? Ang nipis ng mga lupa. Tumubo nga. Agad-agad na po nasinamatay. O kaya doon nahulog sa dawagan, tinikan. Because of the rule of the world, ang scientists, kinanila pa siya. Larin. Or are you the kind of soil that produces 30, 60, 100 fold? Sapagkat inaalagaan natin. So, receptivity. So, ano po yung papano po yun? Kung kanina po sa experience ko sa Korea, yun po ang ibig ko sabihin. You will put in your heart that desire, that eagerness, everything for you to learn, for you to grow. That is what the Lord means by saying, kung kayo ay may pandinig, ay makinig. Kung kayo ay may tainga, <laughs> Gamitin yan. Make use of that. Please write. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, Light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Encouraged by the proclamation and explanation of God's word, let us respond to it with gratitude and renewed commitment to put into practice the teaching of the Lord. And let our response be, we praise and thank you, Lord. We praise and thank you, Lord. For the gifts, for the gift of word entrusted to the church as a source of inspiration and constant reference point in leading people to the truth. Let us pray. We praise and thank you, Lord, for the gift of the word dispensed to us through the Pope, the bishops, the priests, and all our spiritual guides under the assistance of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. We praise and thank you, Lord, for the gift of the word that unites and strengthens our communities and makes them living cells of society and agents of evangelization. Let us pray. We praise and thank you, Lord, for the gifts of the word that in every century has aroused the new movements 
and initiatives that have renewed the church and the whole world. Let us pray. We praise and thank you, Lord, for the gifts of the word that restores harmony to nations, groups, and families, and sets our hearts at peace as we take our rest at the end of each day. Let us pray. We praise and thank you, Lord, for the gifts of the word that consoles the dying with the promise of immortality and an eternal reward, even for the simplest act of charity. Let us pray. We praise and thank you, Lord, for the gift of the word that inspires young people to become witnesses of Christ. Let us pray. We praise and thank you, Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us recall some of the special gifts which God's word has brought to us and those who are most dear to us. Let us pray. We praise and thank you, Lord. We pray that Catholics may place the celebration of the Eucharist at the heart of their lives, transforming human relationship in a very deep way and opening to the encounter with God and all their brothers and sisters. Let us pray. We praise and thank you, Lord. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Holy Mass. Let us pray. We praise and thank you, Lord. Lord God, we praise and thank you for talking to us in the scriptures and living tradition of the church. Grant that we may always understand your message correctly and faithfully carry it out. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, 
through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace to you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above everything and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Do not allow me to be separated from you. So 
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated, brothers and sisters, for a few announcements. The parish invites everyone ages 18 and above to a two and a half day Parish Renewal Experience or PREX Weekend to be held on August 25, Friday, to August 27, Sunday, here at Mary Mother of the Church Parish Jubilee Hall. The PREX is a weekend encounter to discover one's relationship with oneself, with others, and with God. It is meant to help establish one's belongingness and solidarity to his parish and to appreciate and understand the meaning of being a Catholic Christian and being an active part of the mystical body of Christ, the Church. This Prex Weekend Seminar pushes through the mission of the Church for Synodality, journeying together as the people of God. So let us journey together as the people of God, come and join the Prex Weekend. Application forms are available at the parish office and at the prex table located at the front of the church. And after you apply, kindly expect a follow-up call or visit from the prex team. The feast day of God the Father is on August 6, Sunday. There will be a recollection with the theme, God's image versus man's self-image at 2.30 p.m., and the speaker is Reverend Father Chris C. Solonga. The venue is at the Parish Jubilee Hall, and everyone is invited to attend. And finally, there will be a 13-day pilgrimage to the Holy Land, Jordan, Israel, Palestine and Jerusalem, and Egypt on November 24 to December 5 later this year. The chaplain is Father Santi Fernandez, and for those who are interested to join, please contact the cell phone number on the screen, 0917-794-0710, or please visit the parish office. Thank you very much, and please all rise for the final blessing. Again, uh, may I repeat uh, the, the, the call for the prex. It's a beautiful weekend. Uh, experience, spiritual experience with our fellow parishioners. No? This is the flagship program of our parish. It's not a movement or organization. It's more of how we are going, we are able to enhance our being a Catholic, our sense of belongingness and to be a genuine, authentic Catholic Christian. So this is open to all of you from 18 and above.
which are, uh, other speakers are all priests. Lahat po mga pari ang inimbitahan ko na maging mga speakers sa bawat uh, talks. There are, there are 11 talks and all of them will be given by a priest. By priests, I mean. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Good morning to the Lord.